so I'm not going to record too much of this because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them out or not, but this coral was in here and I noticed his head was at, move. His head was at the bottom and he's a big ass virtual so I don't know if he ate throughout the night, got halfway in the hole and stayed there, but I'm putting him someplace where the bolts keep coming up. Otherwise, I was taking him to the top every few minutes, and he's got some bite marks on his fin. He looks like he's been struggling most of the night, it looks like. He's a little red around where it's touching him. I'm going to actually, I think, if I don't get him to wiggle out of there or pull, I'm going to have to get out some vegetable oil. I'll pull the tank decoration right out and put it right down here, and I'm just going to pour vegetable oil straight down his back see if it wiggles and free because he'll wiggle as I if I sit here and go like this he keeps trying but he's showing me that like his back is pierced in that decoration so I might be able to cut it out or just see I don't want to try and smash the decor well I don't give a crap about the decoration he's more important but I don't want to smash the decoration and have it impale him or something that's my thing, is trying to break it without maybe a little pair of pliers or a breaker bar. He is a fat virtue. I didn't expect him to actually go in that. I didn't think there was even holes that small in there. I'm taking that thing out for sure, but for now he's getting air passing by his gully and he keeps, he, it seems like he's getting a little closer, a little closer each time. But I just don't want him to pierce his back they can swim backwards usually, and I'm surprised he's this far. Doesn't look very happy. It's okay, buddy. I'm gonna rip that out of there and best boil you up. Winnie the Pooh, bruh.